good as it's gonna get. Oh, you saw him. Look, look, look. What was your favorite animal at the zoo today? Annabelle. I'm, I'm sorry. Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. Today, it is zoo day. It is a Sunday and we are going to the zoo, the Turtleback Zoo specifically. If you live in New Jersey or kind of like the surrounding areas, it's a nice little zoo. It's not too big, smaller than the Philadelphia and the Bronx Zoo if you're familiar. Um, so if you've got really young kids, Doing a lot of walking is like not their thing or yours. This is like the perfect zoo for like a little Sunday outing. It's like not too overwhelming in size and it's very easy to like see everything before you go. I mean, it doesn't have like every animal. I mean, I don't know, like are there lions? I've been there so many times, but I can't even remember. Today we are going with um, my family, my mom, my stepdad, my brother, sister-in-law, and their three kids. And this was our birthday gift to my mom because all she wanted was for everybody to get together and do like a family activity. So that's what we're doing. We weren't actually even sure that the zoo trip was gonna happen because <laughs> we've kind of been battling a little stomach virus over here. Um, Josiah got sick on Mother's Day actually and was like throwing up. And so we missed our Mother's Day celebration. But you know, it was just like, that was my Mother's Day. It was like cleaning up vomit <laughs> it was uh you know not the most ideal situation but i digress it was a true example of the fact that like mothers never truly have the day off right um so he was kind of battling that throughout the week and then he's just getting better and then ariella got it she was sick but she seems to be doing better i'm getting ready for the day now and it's quiet in the house because mike has the kids he ran out to run an errand and he took them with him which is nice because then I can get ready without having to like listen for, you know, sounds of distress. Hopefully once I'm done, like they're back and they're ready to go because I don't want to be a tight on time. So we're zoo bound. 
we um, we're actually not that far out from the zoo at this point I think we're like I don't know 15 minutes away um, if we don't hit any traffic I anticipated there was gonna be traffic and it doesn't look like there is nope. um, it's like pretty pretty open road at this point um, we did stop and pick up some sandwiches for lunch because we're gonna bring them into the park the zoo lets you bring food in and you can eat in like their picnic area so we're gonna do that instead of purchasing food from their cafeteria because that is so expensive. The kids are passed out in the back seat. You can see Josiah, he's forward facing now. We kept Josiah backwards facing <laughs> for literally as long as humanly possible. He just got turned around like maybe a week ago, maybe two tops. Um, he was backwards facing. He's not a very tall child and he's not a very like weight wise. He was still able to fit backwards and everything. So we left him backwards, but he's forwards now and he's loving He's loving life and he's, he's loving us how to drive. Yeah, he's loving how to be a backseat driver and tell us he's how to drive. Us where to go. Oh my gosh. The other day Vic, he was like, Mom, stop, you're gonna hit that. And I was like, There's nothing in front of me. That's the crazy. car in front of me was like ten cars in front of me, like ten car lengths in front of me. <laughs> and he scared the bejesus out of me because he was like, Mommy, stop! You're gonna hit it. And I was like, What? Um, so that's a terrifying level of parenting while driving that nobody warned me about. It is a little after five and we are tired. I'm tired. Are you tired? I'm tired. Yeah, we're tired. Just I tired. He's passed out in the back. We just pulled up to Aldi um, because we are going to just pick up like two of their refrigerated pizzas that you pop in the oven for dinner. I did that, was it last weekend? The weekend before maybe? Um, and it was actually really good, especially their thin crust one. And they're super cheap. They're cheaper than a Costco pizza and they're they're extra large size, so they're like pretty big. Mike's gonna wait here with the kids, yes. and I'm gonna go run in and grab our. We just made it home, and this is my favorite little part of the house now. I just spent some time the other weekend just like sprucing this up because it was pretty desolate before. <laughs> These were like um, like teak planters, but like they weathered and turned kind of gray and I didn't really like it. So I spray painted them black and I added, I don't know what these are. I don't know why they're all wilty. I think like they got too much water from the rain yesterday because it rained pretty much all day. I'm hoping they spring back because they were super pretty before. 
And then like this planter I got at Home Goods. I love it. Love it. And then I put this little guy in here from um, I think Lowe's I got that plant. I so wish I that I would have just been recording that interaction. Basically, Josiah was dirty and covered in chip crumbs and dirt and from everything from the zoo. So I said, Mike, can you please give him a bath? I'm gonna get the dinner started. And Josiah threw a fit, mostly because he didn't want to take a bath, but he kind of oh pitched God. it as what he, he needs a tissue. tissue he pitched it as he didn't want Mike to give him a bath and he wanted me. But the truth is he would have screamed if I did it too. He just didn't want to take a bath. So anyway, I went up to put his pajamas on because he was giving such a hard time. He was screaming nonstop and I was like, I'll go. He's asking for me. Let me just go try to calm him down. So I went in there and I told him that, you know, it's very hard for somebody to keep their patience when somebody is screaming at them the way he was screaming at his father and that his daddy was just trying to help him. And that maybe, you know, he should think about saying sorry because if daddy made him sad that, he, you know, he would want daddy to say sorry to him. Josiah gets out of that that he does not want to say sorry to his daddy, but he wants his daddy to say sorry to him for giving him a bath and making him upset. So he comes downstairs and they're going back and forth and Mike's like, listen, I don't want to fight with you. So I am i don't know what I'm sorry for, but I'm sorry if I upset you. And Josiah goes, thank you for saying sorry, daddy. <laughs> and even though that didn't play out the way I wanted it to, I still feel like, I don't know. I still feel like maybe I'm teaching him something. <laughs> Maybe he's learning something about apologies and being a con artist. Settled on Jungle Book. Oh, the Jungle Book. Because <coughs> mm. some of the animals that you saw today will be in, in the movie. Oh, in the Jungle Book movie? Yeah. What was your favorite part of the zoo today? Um, lions. The lions? Yeah. Ooh, did you remember we heard him roar? That was really cool. That was cool. Okay, now you. What was your favorite animal at the zoo today? Um, the what? And the I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> what about the monkeys? Did you like the monkeys? Yeah. Mm hmm. Oh, did she like the giraffes? <laughs> Georgia, I'm surprised that the giraffes weren't your favorite because you were asking about them the whole time we were there. And then we got to see them really close, right? We also said something about elephants, but we didn't get There were no elephants, yeah. I need to yeah. that. You need that? You want the movie on? Yeah. Okay, we'll put it on. I'll go check the pizza for you, Miss Thing. so tired we need to go to bed early tonight the last two nights with the kids have been nightmares to put it <laughs> to put it mildly and so we were both saying like we're gonna put the kids down at eight or like a little bit before eight and we're gonna go down at like 8 30 we're gonna go in our bed maybe watch a little tv but we want to be in bed early and asleep early it's nine o'clock there's a sink full of dishes <laughs> um and we still don't have josiah in bed like he won't stay in bed he's giving us a really really hard time to go to sleep tonight i don't want to leave all those dishes in the sink but i'm honestly so tired i think i'm just gonna try to power through it real quick and then i'm gonna hop in the shower because i just feel like gross after walking around outside all day I just want to feel fresh and clean when i get into bed and i just pray to the sleep gods that both kids sleep through the night with no problems and mike and i can get like a full night's sleep. <laughs> I guess 9.30 is the goal now. Hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with us on our little zoo day. I know it wasn't like the most interesting day. And I kind of wanted to remember like being at the zoo, like all of us, like my brother and his kids. And it's, it's hard for us to all get together in general. And then to get together to do like an outing like that, super rare. So I wanted to remember it. Hence me vlogging the day. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to do all the things like comment, subscribe, or don't, whatever you want to do. Uh, but I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.